Hey guys, today is Tuesday, August 1st, 2023. And over the past few days, I've been looking at Cruise Critics and on the Princess forums, and I've noticed that a lot of people are asking the same questions. They're confused about what changes are coming, and they have questions. So I went on to princess.com, and they have a great resource, which I'm going to be going over today, where there's a section of frequently asked questions about the new changes. They have questions, and Princess gives out answers to that. So this is a great resource if you do have any questions about the new changes or what the changes will imply to you. I would highly recommend, I will leave the link in the description of going over the questions and the Princess answers. It will help you all understand what changes are and what isn't free, what isn't, and stuff like that if you have questions. We'll be going over some of these questions coming up right here on the video. So first off, one of the most frequent asked question on these forums and websites is when is this being rolled out, the new changes? It actually starts tomorrow, August 2nd, only on one ship, the Sapphire. I'll leave the list up here in the corner somewhere for you guys to look at. But the majority of the ships will be from August 12th through August 20th. There will be one exception where it won't be set on the coral until mid-September. But on the rest of the ships from August 12th through August 20th is when the rollout will start on all these ships. So they're starting first with the Sapphire tomorrow. So hopefully we see some details from some guests to see what it's all about. And then I have covered this before, but people are still interested in knowing what are the three course menu casual meals, where are these located? What restaurants on the ship are we able to get this three course meal if we have the casual dining experience or if we want to pay the $14.99? So we got O'Malley's Iris Pub, you got Alfredo's Pizzeria, you have the Ocean Terrace, the pizza place, Salty Dog Grill. On some ships you're going to have Plankers, the barbecue, or Steamers, the seafood place. So at these seven locations, or five locations, there's seven total, you will be able to use your casual dining experience there, or you'll be paying the $14.99 for the three course meal, or you can do all a cart. The next question is people are asking, if I don't have the Princess Plus or Princess Premier, you're just a standard cruiser, will I have to pay to sign up to use the Ocean now? And will I still have to pay a $5 delivery fee every time I order delivery with the Ocean Now. The answer is yes and no. So yes, if you do want to use the Ocean Now, you will have to use a, pay a one-time fee of $14.99. If you order delivery on the app, there will not be a $5 charge. So if you have the Ocean Now, you pay the $14.99 one-time fee. There will not be a delivery fee for you by using the Ocean Now app. But if you use your stateroom phone, if you use your phone in the stateroom, not your app from your phone or tablet, there will be a $5 charge each time you use your phone, your stateroom phone, not your cell phone or your tablet. So if you call on the house phone, yes, there will be a $5 delivery fee. Just keep that in mind that you can still order through the app, the TV, the medallion, but once you pick up that phone, it's going to be a $5 charge. This next question is a little tricky, so I'm going to read it off from what I have on my phone so you understand. The question asks, will I still be able to order breakfast from delivery through the doorknob card I find in my stateroom? So for breakfast, in the slot by the table in your stateroom, there will be a doorknob hanger for breakfast. If you don't know what that is, it's a hanger that you leave outside your door the night before the next morning that you want breakfast. So that is still going to be free and there's amazing options on there and that will still be free. There will not be a $5 delivery fee for that. So make sure you use that hanger so you don't have to pay for delivery in the morning. Another common question is, can I continue to order housekeeping items like ice buckets and bath towels at no extra charge? Yes, you are able to still get ice and the bath, bath, robes, bath robes from your room steward. That is the key. You have to ask your room steward for ice or anything, uh, bath robes, toiletry, any of that extra stuff 
you will have to ask your room attendant. If you order it through the app, you will pay the $14.99 one-time fee and there will be a delivery fee. But if you ask your room steward for ice or the bathrobes, there will not be a charge. So keep that in mind. If you want the ice, you gotta ask the room steward. My cruise is a month away. When will I receive my medallion? I haven't received my medallion yet. Should I be concerned? The answer is no. According to Princess, they start sending them out 12 to 21 days before your cruise. So, I would wait a couple weeks before, before you won't have to get concerned because you are able to pick them up at the port. But people love to have the medallions before they go. So, according to Princess, they start to ship them two to three weeks before. Given delivery time, I would expect it to arrive at least a week before your trip. So, just keep that in mind. If you're a month or two away, the medallions aren't shipped to you right away. The Princess Plus and Princess Premier are for two people. If you have the third and fourth guest, am I able to use the Princess Plus and Princess Premier for the third and fourth guest? Majority of the items that come with the Princess Plus or Princess Premier, you will not be able to use, such as the drink package, the casual dining, the specialty dining. Those are only for the first and second person. But if you do have the Princess Premier, or Princess Plus and you have the one device internet per person for the Princess Plus if the first person that has the internet is signed off they're able to give it to the third or fourth person but if you have the Premier you have four devices per person so that means the third and fourth person are able to use the device but that's the only thing you're really able to really use is the internet for the third and fourth person so the third and fourth person will have to pay extra for the casual dining, the specialty, and if they want to get a drink package or a soda package, they would have to pay separate for that. So just keep that in mind. So going back to a question I brought up earlier, I see come up on the websites and forums as well, is if I'm okay with paying the $14.99 activation fee for the ocean now, will I be getting charged any delivery fees? Once again, if you order through the app, the Ocean Hill app, or on your TV, there will not be any $5 charge. But if you are in your stateroom and you pick up the stateroom phone and order room service, that will be a $5 charge each time. So if you want room service, I highly recommend, if you do sign up for the Ocean Now, to make sure that you order through the app or the TV, not through your stateroom phone because there will be a $5 charge. People that have the Princess Plus or Princess Premier are asking if they're able to book in advance for their casual dining or for their specialty dining before they get on the ship. First off, the Princess Plus includes the casual dining two-time experience. The casual dining will not have reservations. So you're not able to make a reservation before you get on the ship. There won't be any reservations on the ship. First come, first serve. For the Princess Premier, Premier, it comes with two specialty dining meals. Those are extra charge for people that don't have the Princess Premier. For the, cash, for the specialty dining, you are able to sign up beforehand on the app, on the medallion, before your cruise, or you can do it on board. But I would recommend doing it beforehand because times do fill up fast. Just keep that in mind. I highly recommend you book that specialty dining right away so you get your time that you want on the date and location that you're looking for. Hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Um, again, this resource is available to anybody. This is on the princess.com website, the official website of Princess Cruise Line. Again, the link will be down below in the description if you're interested in looking at other questions. There's about 50 different questions that are answered there and they're to be honest, Princess did a good job by making sure the answers were clear, so there's no confusion whatsoever with these questions. So, uh, again, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you guys for coming, and happy cruising until next time.